guys, it's Star here with um, some more Amnesia The Dark Descent. It has been a while and I have been dying to play this game. Some more saying that Amnesia Machine for Pigs um, comes out next week, so let's go. Right, I need to go up to this top bit, I think. Wind, lovely wind. <sighs> Gorgeous. Oh look, there's a boarded up door. Can I pull the... what? Oh, it's... oh, it won't budge. I wonder why, Daniel. I wonder, wonder why. Look how light it is outside. It's horrifying dark in here. Wait a minute. There's the wrong button. Let's turn button there. Do I have some... oh, I have some oil for my lamp. And I have a chemistry pot. Can I put that in my lamp? There we go. How do I get the lamp again? Oh, it's F. That's right. Right, let's go looking. There's a spider web. It's a very nice big spider web. There is some rocks. I eh, can't go that way. Woohoo! Stairs that go there, okay. Yay! Alright, let's just go in here. I'll go to the archives. Yes! He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she would too would be punished. Ah, that's sad. Well, what did what did he do? Who's he? Ah. Well, I hope Hazel didn't get punished as well. Ah, there's a pretty flower. There we go. It's loaded. Ooh. Oh, what you don't like this, Daniel? Too dark for you. Okay. What, what's that? I don't like that noise. Um. Anything in the library? Hello? Any anything in here? No. Okay. Uh, there appears to be a letter. Oh, it is a little dark in here, isn't it? Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Hmm. Wow. So you're out for power, are you, Daniel? Oh, well, whoever wrote that, not you. Oh, it's a stupid cockroach. Oh, what's in here? Nothing. Move, get back in, get back in. Sheesh. Uh, nothing in there. Oh, there's a book. Oh, I didn't do anything. And there's nothing in there. Okay. Sorry, chair. I did not mean to hit you with the book. Oh, it's okay. Good, I'm glad it's okay. I didn't mean to hit you with a book. It just gets me so frustrated. All these books. Fail. Couldn't throw that book. Right, it's a bit dark down there. We'll go over here first. Ooh. Yeah, Daniel? Cat Catalink. Hello? Any anybody in here? No? Okay, I'll just close the door then. Get some light on in here. So Daniel doesn't freak out with his insanity. What was his sanity thing? I don't want to light that. Or maybe I will. Should I light it? Do I light it? No, I like my lantern, but I'm gonna waste my lantern. I'll just light it. There we go. So that's a little candle now. We'll read this. Oh, I have to read it. Alright. I hereby offer my full attention and service to Alexander, Baron of Brenneberg. This con contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander, Baron of Brennenberg, is 
is to, rec is to recommend my services at the Peru Parisian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wil Wilhelm, House of Greenwich. Yay. I hate those noises. Can I, can I take the candle, please? Can I just... Uh, no, okay. Fine, I won't take the candle. Hello, Mr. Chair. Can you move? Thank you. Helpful. I, I want to shut the door. It's, it's, uh, I prefer to be locked in places. See, we've got books. Yes, that's life. Oh, I need to start with the bomb. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, wait, there is something. It's a tim tinder book. Okay. Uh, no, okay, well, I'll go this way, I guess. Is there anybody there who wants to eat me? Hello? No, okay. There's another candle. Ooh, what is this? Which is ink. It's very nice. There's a piece of paper there. Shut I don't want to want to light that candle. What have we got here? We've got a study. Hello? Any what is that? was that? That was some weird noise. I didn't like that noise. It's like someone moaning. There's some shirts. Yay. We could do with the change of shirts, Daniel. Oh, there's another piece of paper here. I need notebooks. No. Uh, no. Oh, no. Tinder box. No. Okay, well, just read this letter. 17th of May. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Oh no. Oh no, some, he got trapped, whoever was writing these letters. Yeah, okay. Let's um, open this door. Hello? Anybody? Hello? No? Okay. Uh, I'll leave that door open. There is a nice Fabergé egg, I guess. What have we got here? Old toes. Okay. Hello? Chat Daniel, it's just a book. Now there's piano music playing. I don't want to know. Um, could like that, I guess, but no. Let's just close you. Don't need to go back in there. Um, hello? No, okay, just a wall. Oh, great. Yep, enjoying this. Open, open. No. Um, what's this? This is local history. Okay. Oh, it's locked. 
really wanted to see what, what does my journal say? I don't know how to look at my journal. Why is it so important? Hello? There's a nice bit. <laughs> what was that? Freaky. Oh shoot, Daniel. Okay, we'll stand by this lovely window while I fill up. Oh. Oh shoot. Daniel, you idiot. Let's see. Go down there. And then go all the way to the other end of the hall. Ooh, I'll just continue this way. Just a chair, come with me, I'm scared. There's broken weather. And there's freaky noises. What in the world? I really don't want to know. Stay here, Mr. Chair. I'll go alone. Hello? Hello? some oil. Get my land on quick. Okay. Oh, there's another piano that's probably in the flower design. Um, anything in here? Uh, paper. Helpful. More paper. And more paper. Okay, here we've got floor plans. Floor plans would be helpful. Hello? In here. No, okay, there's a chest. Can I open it? Oh, yes, I can. There's some lovely things in here. Oh no, the ship piano is playing again. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, I was totally prepared for that. Um, okay, what have we got here, Daniel? Maps? What? Oh no, collapse. There's Kingdom of Pet Borussia. Lovely. Borussia. Another note. Note, note, book, hello. And tinder box, yay. What? What do I do? 17th May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Um, okay. This is a bit weird. I, I don't know. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Hello, light. Will you be my friend? I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety and grasped 
firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Wow. Interactable flashbacks for writing. Awesome. Okay. Come on, Daniel, let's go. Oh, great. Ugh, we're stuck. That's a curious, isn't it, Daniel? Honestly. Let's find a way out of this new area. See, the, honestly, Daniel. Now we have to go looking for ways out. Well, that way there looks like a very good way to go. Agile. Well, what do I do with it? That's my my health is all good. I have a slight headache. That's that's nice. Um. Hmm. Stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. Well, you do know how to make life hard, don't you? Now what? Some sort of secret door mechanism in the classroom. Well, I had no idea, Daniel. I, I really had no idea. And what I ran out. No more oil, that's great. Just go around lighting candles, I guess. Oh, a book. Oh, great. A puzzle. Some oil. That will help. Nice. Ah. That's why we can't open it. I'll get some lights on. There we go. Oh, there's a there's another piece of paper. Can we pick okay, no can't pick up. Alright. I'll throw this book there then. Ha! Give me a piece of paper. Oh. Epic music. At Stolt and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with law in Al Alster, Alster, deep within the East P P P Parisian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the Hel hamlet and its neighbour, Castle Brennenburg, the qu quiet, quiet, yeah, quiet, forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is a as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. As any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition, all travellers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep re reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever down to roam the ground. Bodies warped by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of air and essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants and move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside a damp burlap sack dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What what dark schemes do they follow? A visit undone. 
Henrich Cornelius, Corn, Corn, Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Astolt at the end of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdom past, kingdom's past. During his stay, all the per prominent members of society paid notice, and he is men um, mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the ne northwest glades, only to never be seen again. Henrich is known to have passed away in Gren Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever witnessing at Alster, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was the mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to The immortal Baron. The Baron of Brunnenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alstead. And like most of most of those of noble birth, rumours are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rylands, claiming the role as protector of the Parisian state. Alexander helped the re region of Flo to flourish and remain remained popular throughout his pr presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his off offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is never is never being fully recorded. Oh, is never that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of the occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Long reading. Right, so let's see what books are there that I can move. Uh, that one, obviously. This one. And that one. Okay, well, go with you. You. And you. Did that work? Oh no! It's a secret room. Yay, secret rooms! Oh, there's a cupboard. Anything in the cupboard? No, okay, it's a good hiding spot though. Oh, it's a painting! It's a lovely, lovely painting. Hey, Mr. Chair again. Uh, but. Oh, key! Why can't I run? Why aren't you running? Why aren't you running? Hide? Hello? Any, anybody out here? Hello? Okay, that was just me being paranoid and the game making weird noises. <sighs> oh, boy, reading, yay! Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail of Brendan Brennenberg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be in a sense solve most of my problems both of my problems. I have no idea what that noise was, but it scared me. Oh, was it just the door opening on its own? Seriously? Seriously, Daniel? Oh, the wine cellar key. Might as well just go to the wine cellar. What? Stupid. Okay. Let's go, Daniel, on a journey. What? What the hell? No, run, Daniel, run, 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 turn it off, run. Oh my god, oh my god, ahead. No, get in there, get in there, come on, for God's sake. Daniel, 
you idiot! Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna do this right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna end it there. I didn't see it yet, but I heard it. Well, I didn't know Rat Daniel ran so slow. Okay. Well, anyway. <sighs> oh. Thank you guys for, for watching. Um, leave a comment and tell me if you enjoyed and if I can improve on and any other old random stuff that you love to tell people in comments. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to join the Light of the Star. <laughs> we'll see you in the next part. Goodbye and good night.